but um, someone had told me that this exam is about discipline and not motivation. Um, so since I was studying at home, I had nothing to do. I had made, I had tried to make studying a lifestyle. And what You wrote the first prelims, uh, you could not clear the first prelims and there would be a certain level as you said, okay, in your case you said, but how did you plan your year after that? Because that is the most crucial. Not clearing the prelims, what I understand is that is not such a big challenge as, as to what you do after not clearing the prelims. So how did you make your plan? So when I decided in third year that I will pursue this examination, I spent one mm. month just studying the exam. The previous year papers, the syllabus and lots of toppers talks talking to people. So after I failed prelims, I realized that I have enough knowledge about the examination. I need a plan to implement this. So after prelims, I honestly like took a week to understand my strengths, my weaknesses, see if I need a test series, see if I need coaching, all of that. So once I had awareness about myself, where I stand, then I made the plan. So first I joined the MGP test series so that by December, my syllabus is done at least once. And because I had done polity and history before, I think I was able to do it till December. And the tests were my plan essentially. Like even in my timetable, I would write, okay, test one, test two. And accordingly, I would ensure that I do the subjects. So. All right, Saluni, so you said you listened to a lot of toppers talk. Now, uh, increasingly, we have a problem that there are too many talks, too many toppers. How did you segregate and what did you learn to, you know, how did you learn to separate the shaft from the grain or for example, something that is useful for you in particular? How did you do that? So when I started watching the talks, five, six talks in, I realized that there are some things which are common for all and there are some things which are different. So I, again, I relied on my good old Excel sheet. I made a database. I would write, okay, GS1, advice, whatever. And I would write every advice that toppers are giving for GS1. I had lots of such headings, GS2, GS3, interview, miscellaneous, etc. By the end of the month, I had a huge database. And then I just sat with myself, realized, okay, I'm a humanities graduate. I, and mostly there are engineers. So I decided that there are some things I need to do differently. So I had that information. I tried to understand myself and I saw what may work, what may not. I had guidance from a few seniors who had cleared the examination, so that really helped. Um, Saloni, in this uh, year-long journey, for example, whenever we, there are times when uh, we feel very demotivated. So how did you deal with those moments of demotivation or you did not have them in the first place? No, 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 there were many such moments, but um, someone had told me that this exam is about discipline and not motivation. Um, so since I was studying at home, I had nothing to do. I had made, I had tried to make studying a lifestyle. And when I wouldn't study, I would feel I'm just really wasting my parents' money, their expectations, my own potential. It's a huge opportunity cost studying for this examination. So when I would feel low, of course, I would take some time off, watch the occasional web series, but just remind myself that if I don't study, I'm not doing justice to anything. So that just the knack for studying, making it a habit, making it a discipline sort of lifestyle that was what pushed me, pulled me back. I was not, I tried finding motivation, etc. But frankly, that did not work for me. So for me, it was more about discipline than motivation.